Welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Um, now, if you were paying attention during that cutscene in the last episode, you may want to you'll probably tell where we can find the Heart of Mantrock. Because we kind of need that. We kind of need that to fuck pie us over. So, we kind of just look over here in the books area, in the whole library. Oh, right there. And that. Uh, I'm here. I'm here in squishing. Oh, that's why. There's blood. Blood dripping down there. We need to get that fixed. That is a very serious leak that needs to be fixed up. Seriously, man. Can I get some more on Alex? Nope. Yeah, she's slowly losing her mind here. No big deal. Ah, but here's what we need. Discovers a pulp novel written by one Dr. Edwin Lindsay among the books on the shelf. This is where the Tome of Eternal Darkness indicated that something of value was hidden behind this book. Should Alex look? Sure, why the fuck not? Ding ding! With the book removed, the secret cachet is revealed. Inside is the heart of Mantarok, encased in glass to protect the world from its corrosive energies. Should Alex claim this beating heart? Fuck yeah! Alright, so now we have the heart of Mantarok. Or the essence of Matarok. Although the corpse god itself festers elsewhere, its power resides within this artifact. So that's pre a pretty big thing that we have this, because now we are the, the we're one step closer standing on even ground with Pius. Oh, well, just don't worry about the flying books, there. It's all right, no big deal. Okay, so other than that, we don't really have too many clues about where where the next chapter page is going to be. So, oh, I, oh I, that's right, I forgot to kind of show this room off a bit. Um, this, we don't really have the item for yet, because it requires something over here. Crank and socket is mounted to the telescope, appears to be linked to a mirror supported by a rest the telescope. Basically, this is something. We need another device, another handle, in order to be able to use that properly, which we can find later on. Uh, for now, Need to find out where the fuck I need to go. Let's see. Um, now, if I can just remember where. The door's locked. Well, so much for that. I don't have any more keys to use. So, let's go ahead and check down in this direction. There should be something around here somewhere. Oh, there's creepy voices. There's creepy voices coming around here. And lots of knocking on doors. Oh. Oh. This one. This one. Yeah. This one. You... Yeah. This is pretty... This was unsettling as fuck first time I saw this, and it's still unsettling as fuck! Because of that! Darkness is coming. Yeah, yeah, it's, it kind of fucks with you a little bit there. Just a little bit. Alright, so that was just a little side thing that we could trigger, I think, I believe. Um, what we need to find... I want to say is elsewhere. I just having a hard time remembering where. Hmm. It's nowhere up here. Eh? Uh. Door's not opening. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, there it goes. I was gonna say, I thought the game was f there. Um, let me go ahead and save just to make sure that nothing happens. You know? Just, uh, just kind of to make sure. No, 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 don't think. What are you deleting for? Why are you deleting? Wait, what are you doing? Wait, what the fuck is going on? No, wait. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was the new one! That was a new one for me. That was actually a new one. Okay, okay, that was actually a new one. Alright, so let's go ahead and save in this slot then. Uh, 
and it contains settings that are not the same as the current. So if you save the game of this one, we're going to write its existing settings. There we go. Okay, so I think we're good here. We're good. Okay, we're fine. Everything is fine. Nothing is wrong. Oh, nope. That's right. That's the broken door. Um, let's see. I wonder. Oh, right. We have dispel magic now. We can dispel this. So, dispel magic. I believe it's aligned to green. Oh, we can probably just use the rock one. Green. That solves a lot of problems. Oh. Oh, right. I moved. That's right. You gotta stay still during all this. That should work. Yep. That worked. And there's just a page of the Tome of Eternal Darkness just floating in mid-air. It's alright, just a piece of paper floating in mid-fucking air. As the magical window fades away, the piece of parchment that the main was holding is left behind. It appears to be a chapter page. Yes, we need this chapter page. HERESY! Ah, this is the setup. This is the setup. That is a very foreboding altar. Lots of paragons. Ew, yes. Hello there. Hello there, tall, spindly, and ugly. Today, I am your master. Your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one. Ah, uh, that's Jaturia's claw. See so, yeah. ya. Look how fucking sinister that fucking thing is. Look how fucking sinister that thing is. Yeah, that's the thing we're gonna have to go up against eventually. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and start this chapter. This one's called HERESY! In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition... Uh, the Inquisition. Paranoia and corruption ran deep. The Inquisition! The what a show! Corruption. The Inquisition! Here it goes! We bet you wishing that we go away! <laughs> all nah. that could be I really gotta stop doing that. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named An incident Pernambu involving the Inquisition? Was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral. Yep. For everyone yep. was suspect. Because law religion. Welcome to Oublier Cathedral. Brother Luther, I'm Sound glad familiar? That our sacred order can bestow hospitality on our Franciscan brethren. Yeah, this guy doesn't look good. I'm that sure kind of should give, give you a hint as to well, who's in charge I here. I request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, mm. brother. Mm. Bad touch, bad touch. See from this town. Bad touch, bad touch. I'm sure that will not be a problem. Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. Appears, it appears to be. But deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places. You Which know, I believe is the case with Amiens. Then it's I kind of fucking telling. Search. The Inquisition does not need luck, brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. Yeah, you can probably tell that's not a good guy. I'd probably tell that's not a fucking friendly priest. Well, probably none of these priests are friendly. It's a fucking Inquisition. No one is fucking friendly here. Okay, so think about uh, Paul Luther here. He has very good magic because and decent sanity because of his religious line, religious crap. But, he is an old man, so he has INSANELY LITTLE HEALTH! See how small that fucking health bar is. But he also does have a meditation rod, which allows him to restore lost sanity. 
not really much, only three charges, and this is a low sanity run anyway, so it's not going to be of much use here. So right now, nothing's going on. We're just kind of allowed. We're just allowed to kind of explore the place. You know, check the surroundings. Take a look at what's going on around here. It is very fucking dark in this room. It is very fucking dark here. So we can kind of look around a little bit. Just kind of explore the area. You might need to take note of where everything is at. As for this path, this will lead us to a very particular point. This area, this is the bell tower here. A thick braided rope serves to ring the church bell. Usually it's the custodian's task to ring the bell at appropriate times. Perhaps you will be along later to ring it. God damn, this room is fucking dark. I really hope you guys can see any, everything here. I really hope you guys can see anything. I apologize for the darkness. Uh, that's right, you gotta take it in mind that he's an old man, he doesn't have as much stamina either. Nice stained glass though. Uh, so just gonna walk my way back down here. Back down, back down, back down. And we just, this is the only other path we can go in. So let's go ahead and walk on in, wander around. So this is where we visited in the first, uh, the very beginning of the game. Where the, what's his name, trying to get the, get get to Charlemagne in time. Um, so they've done, built a lot on top of this place. And you, we'll run into, eventually run into the sections that we were in before. So right now we can just kind of trigger a cutscene. Oh, and that's a dead body! God! God! Help! Come quickly! A murder! A murder, murder must, must fall! Foul. What heresy is this? I... I found him lying here. Dead. I called the guards. Ah. Uh, is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. Devilry! As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But Hold your tongue, Franciscan. <laughs> or might bring my wrath upon thee. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you trust in the Almighty, and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. <laughs> This guy is such a. This guy is full, full of such bullshit. It's hilarious. Anyway, we're trapped in here. Luther's being held under arrest, waiting for judgment and trial at the hands of the Inquisition. And if you know anything about the Inquisition, it never ends well for anybody involved. So we all kind of stuck in here. Uh, ooh, but we do have painting captures Paul's attention. Small emerald disguised as part of the painting glints in the candlelight, as though it has some value beyond being a precious gem. Shall Paul try to retrieve the emerald? Yes, might as well. And oh, and there we go. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No, I'm here to free you. Oh, it's the custodian. You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. It's the fucking Inquisition! I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. We can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later, and I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. Mm. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were you, I'd run. They will surely hunt me if I run. He's got a point this there. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. He spent time in the old tower investigating. 
I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. We so, can't evade them forever. So now we have a task. A specific task. We have to out expose what's going on in this church. So, see if there's anything else going on in here first. Uh, too fucking dark to see shit. But, at least the door is open now. Oh, but it's already doing this with us. Welp! Welp. We're here again. Familiar territory. Now, you can notice that Lindsay's statue is not here. It's because he actually didn't die. I mean, we all know exactly what happened to him, but he's not dead. He's still alive and out there. Which actually is interesting. So all, all the statues here, they have to keep in mind, are people that have actually died in the war with the ancients. So, you have to keep in mind, so the fact that Lindsay's statue is not here means that he's, st he's still alive and still contributing to some in some form. But for now, we have the Tome of Eternal Darkness! Fast forward! And now we're back here again. So, now, here's the thing. We have no fucking weapons to use to protect ourselves with. So, we have to rely a lot on magic for the time being. For the mo Thankfully, though, there aren't too many adversaries to worry about right now. It's relatively quiet. Eventually, though, we'll start to run into things. So, good thing is that there aren't any enemies that we have to worry about yet. I say yet, because it's gonna happen. The altar is bereft of holy adornment. No crucifix, no Bible, no sacred man of any kind. Paul's disturbed by this sight. What faith does the order practice? Hmm, wouldn't you like to know? So... There's gonna be a lot of stuff that we got, we're gonna be looking around for. So we're essentially, essentially, this is more of a detective style story, more of a combat combat one. So we just need to look around and find where everything is at. Uh, doors are closed. Doesn't appear to be any way of opening them manually. Again, that's something we'll need to find later. Um, just go ahead and keep looking around here. I need to find the journals first. Oh, here we go. Yes. This will make things a lot better. Illumination! That's what we need. Ah, so we need to... F I need to find... Just need to find these journal entries. And... Ooh, that's interesting. The woodcut shows an act of blasphemy. A host of demons prey upon humans like they were playthings, disemboweled by mocking demons, eaten or tortured by other carnal deviant acts. Old, uh, old art is really kind of interesting in a way, and in how it protects. Oh, oh, crossbow! There we go. There's our, there's our primary range weapon for this for this chapter. Only problem is we. There we go. A woodcut depicting the effect of the effects of a plague. The spirit of death incarnate casts final judgment over the wealth of wealth of victims. Yeah, old these old uh, medieval paintings are pretty. What's the word I want to use? What's the word? Um, mm, they focused a lot on the occult and the spirit. A lot of, especially some of the ones that have more religious meanings to it. Uh, something tumbles from inside. Oh, podium tea. Here we go. That's something that we we can use. Uh, that's the one I needed. That is the key that I needed. So that is going to allow me to get inside the podium here. Because there's something in here that we need. Uh, I think this is the one. Oh, nope, not that one. Uh, let's see. Is it? No, that's the organ. Oh, that's right. The podium's over here. That's right. Uh, it's this thing. Uh, simple podium and lectern provides a platform for a priest giving a sermon to his congregation. There was a drawer recessed in it. This is what I need. Open. It's a document. Yes. Found the first diary page. So, alright. So, Brother Andrew, page one. 
I have finally arrived at Amiens on my pilgrimage to see the hand of Jude Jaws to a close. Cannot wait to lay eyes upon the sacred relic. My journey here has been arduous, and it shall be good to relax for a while in this peaceful village. Amiens is full of good people, strong in their faith and their role in our world. If the blight of witchcraft is present, I, then I doubt it is in Amiens. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you. You are... You probably died horribly. You probably died horribly thinking your god was gonna save you. Yeah. Funny how that worked out. Okay, well, notes that the door to the old tower is locked. Perhaps the custodian might have the key. Okay, so that's where we eventually need to meet with the custodian later. For now, we must continue to explore. Pardon? Downstairs we go. We still have yet to run into anyone, actually. Still takes a bit to kind of build up. Oh, here we go. Uh, so if I can just get in position to grab it. Here we go. The Book of Reliquaries. That's gonna. That's another thing that, that we can use. Another painting. Simple Spartan bed shows how the Order treats its visitors. There is no sign of the Order's own quarters, and this chills Paul to the bone. The only man that doesn't need a bed is a dead one. Mmm. Oh, hey, we got crossbow bolts. At least there's crossbow bolts in here. They were kind enough to leave, have that in here. Personal effects of a priest are scoured, rosary reeves, crucifix, and a variety of other small holy items. These must have been Brother Andrews. So the Book of Reliquaries here is, This is the forgotten forgeries of the reliquaries dating back to the late 13th century. Exquisitely illuminated and bound with hard leather, it reads, requiring more income than can be guarded from the tith, resorting to forging ancient relics to bring people from outside the region in the diocese di and thus become luc more lucrative. While it could be said that a false hope is still hope, relics such as Cuthbert's jawbone, the hand of Jude, and the infamous thighbone flute of Connet, while being forgeries, deceive the righteous unjustly. Their existence as true relics is the utmost heresy. So, here's our first step clue that, or, well, I won't say first clue, second clue that this entire fucking church is full of bullshit. Because they're just using this Hand of Jude bullshit shit to try and draw people to come into the church. And considering this game and all the stuff that we've been in, um, um, encountering so far, you can imagine what they do with the people that come in here. And the other organ has steel mazes mounted in the back wall by means of a display armature. This is what we need. That's our primary melee weapon. As for this organ, it's not working yet. Explorers an expert hand. Ooh, more crossbow bolts. Yeah, the main downside about that crossbow is that you can only fire one shot at a time, and it takes forever to reload. Oh, and there's trappers. That's a trapper. So, um, let's go ahead and take these things out. Let's go ahead and take those things out. There we go. Long distance shot. Off screen. Alright, I think that's the only other one in here. A wine cast used for maturing wine. The wine inside this one must be very strong for it seeps through the cast, filling the air with a heady aroma. I don't... I don't know if it's this one that has... Okay, I think maybe it is this one. Because I remember in one of these, there's a fucking fake cask here somewhere. Ah, this one. Knocking on this cask results in a hall of thud. It is empty, but why when all the others are full of wine? Turn that little spigot there. Open sesame! Oh! Oh! I like that little holy sound there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and enchant this real fast because there's some. This is probably about the part where things are gonna start picking up. Item is now enchanted because that's why. Because this fucker. Thankfully, we can still shoot him from a distance. Oh, but my shield's already down. Avoid that! Reload. Oh, that's that's the other thing about the shield these effects. It's that it 
kind of inflicts a poison type status effect on enemies that slowly dwindles or uh, takes away their health over time. That's another thing, reason why this thing is so effective, because it's able to just do a lot of damage over time instead of... So, what I can do is while that's going, it's still dwindling its health, and then I can use that. Oh, he's still, he's still hurting me quite a bit. But thankfully, I got a couple more bolts left. I think I have a couple more bolts left. I have three bolts left. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to get in close and personal here. Cause these bolts aren't very strong. Ah, there we go. Got him. When in doubt, swing a mason in its face. Found a sapphire. That's gonna help things. Uh, the pedestal has three small indentations adorning its top, arranged in a circular formation. Each socket appears to be waiting for something. So we can go ahead and put these in here for now. Put that, and this one as well. Oh! Alright, so that's all we can do, for, unfortunately, for now. Unless... Master Grand card with Hades base for scratch marks running along the floor, make it appear that the script has been moved many times. Okay, we need that last gem in order to open that up. For now, though, we need to keep going. Because there are demons here! Demons! Demons! So now that... Uh, okay, so now we've got... My book of reliquaries, we got a diary page. And now, we need to find and see if... Our little custodian friend is in the tower yet. Nope, not yet. Um, so for now, we just kind of need to go around a little bit. Um, can I mess with the organ yet, or is that, or do I need something else as well? Uh, playing the port organ is a daunting challenge for someone like Paul, who has no musical talent. Paul could probably play it if there was some music to play. Yeah, so I need something else before I can get out, get at that. Oh, but he's out of stamina. That's right. Does not have much stamina at all. Um, let me explore upstairs once more. See if there might be something there. Because I need that red sapphire. I need to find that red sapphire tool and a gem. Should be around somewhere. Should be somewhere in this place. I'll try up here. And still no one is around. That's actually interesting. Ah. Okay. Oh, hi! Uh, what's up, buddy? You're a... You're a... You're a not-so-friendly sight. Thankfully, the torch still works on him. I think with that, I may be able... That might have opened up something. Let's see. Let's see if I can... Can I mess with this? Okay. Paul's nervous about ringing the bell, fearing his own capture. It is the custom... Perhaps he'll be a by later. Should Paul ring the bell anyway? Well, that's the only way to get his attention, unfortunately. There he is. Trying along like nothing's wrong, despite the fact that the entire religious order he works for is com is comprised of demons. So let's go ahead and talk to you real fast. Oh, Brother Luther, not a moment too soon. As you have noticed, dread things inhabit this place. Shambling corpses, and worse, there is darkness at work here. In no the shit. Midst of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that, but I have no proof. Brother Andrew knew this also, and paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. Take this key. 
It unlocks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage mm. to uncover the source of darkness, return here. I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect you. Yeah, about that whole faith thing. Old tower key. So now we at least have access to the old tower. Which we will go to explore next time on Eternal Darkness. More heresy! All the heresy. <laughs>